Yeah. You've then got to go between the fingers yeah. thoroughly, and then under the nails as well as you, as yeah. well as you can, right? So you really, you know, thoroughly wash the hands. Yeah. Okay. That then you know, rinse them you know, in, in wa clean water again. But my advice would be not to use a, a hand towel really use a paper towel because yeah. you could pick up a, a hand towel at home and somebody else has not washed their hands thoroughly yes. and germs could be left so well, a towel. kitchen towel in the loo or something yes exactly yeah kitchen, kitchen roll, roll yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, and, and that would be fine Good. but you know it's um I mean, this is what, of course, doctors and nurses should be yeah. doing, you know, in hospitals. If you don't, you're saying there that it's easy. You touch something, someone else touches it, passes it on. What we've done is, uh, is, is uh, we've got some, um, some special ultraviolet paint. Uh, and what we've done is we painted it on Tom, our runner, this yeah. morning. Yeah. Uh, and we set him off on a task. I said, just don't do anything out of the ordinary. Just do what you would normally do. This is what he sort of normally does in the, in the course of his working day. Obviously, he's, uh, he has to... Uh, Use the phone. There's someone else immediately after him using the same phone, which, uh, which of course, if you've got any germs on your hands, you uh, have passed them on. Same with uh, the knife. There's someone else using the same knife. We've got uh, next move. Shaking hands, of course. Perhaps he, uh, perhaps didn't wash his hands before he shook hands. She'll, sh she'll shake someone else's hand and pass it on. And using computer keyboards, another prime way of passing germs on. So. Only Tom had the special ultraviolet paint on his hands. So we wanted to see, in the course of about 15 minutes, how many people did he pass it on to, if it had been germs. Yeah, and of course you couldn't see any on his hands at all. No. So what we've got here is an ultraviolet light, which will actually cause uh, the areas he touched to fluoresce under the light, okay? Right. so. If we can get ah. the, light, the lights down. Shall we dim the lights down a little? Light? Look so at that. that. Fingerprints see? already so, all so on the phone. So that could be evidence. These could be germs from his hands on the telephone, on the side of the mug. Yeah. Yeah, we got that. The paper is not very obvious because there are other colours in the background there. But um, there we are, piece of paper there. Can we see that? Look at the script. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the stapler next stapler, door. Stapler, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so you know... So can you all hold your hands out? You're, you all met um, and bumped into in the course of the morning, Tom. So yeah, go through those hands and let's we, see. We, Can't we, see anything. We can see nothing, okay? Now, whether... It, it, it's, I mean, it's obvious to us close by, they're fluorescing, they're, they're much brighter. Little these dots, fingers, yeah, you only need one dot, don't you? Look at right, there's yeah. a little dot there, there's That's a little right. dot there. Race yep, down the okay. line there, Chris. Yep, uh, there, there's a good example there yes. of where she's picked up, you know, potential germs. And there, and then also, even on a t-shirt top. Wow. You know, yeah, and then fingers and again. And viruses, we know, yeah. can live for minutes or hours without... Yeah. Well, we then, checked. And we che oh, look, even that on the face. On the face. face. We, checked, uh, okay. we checked everyone. There's 13 people there, uh, and those are the ones that we just managed to check uh, a few moments ago. 13 people just from Tom in uh, passed on in, in the space of uh, 15 minutes. Chris, thank you. Thank you all very much indeed. indeed. So experiment. do please wash your hands, particularly after you fed the birds as well. We look forward to seeing you after the news.